sketchy. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yes, that's perfect. Fire up. Oh my god. YouTube channel. Dude, if you keep talking smack about pike. Dude, oh, it's just pike, dude. Listen, this you go pike fishing, that you rob a strip club. Yep. That's how it works. Can you tune these, Nate? Uh, I don't know. Like, yeah. Tighten that string up. Tighten her up. Four plus, dude, are you ready to uh, destroy some jet skis? Yes. Oh, fire me up, dude. Oh, sledgehammer and the axe. Nothing like ruining some brand new sea dews today. Hey, uh, Ty, you want to come give us a give us a walkthrough, Ty? Because you know, listen, I saw some haters in the comments. They said starts jet boat build, hires a fabricator. Well, <laughs> you're damn right. That's what we did. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, pretty much. As you guys have seen, like Ty kind of. Ty kind of came on when we started the jet boats, helped us, you know, weld them together. But uh, now that you're full time on the freaking payroll, dude. Dude, once you guys realize you're a little in over your head, oh. uh, lock me in. <laughs> <laughs> might be true, might not, you know, dude. So, it was a combination of things, all right? We need we, we need more safety equipment around here. We need more jet boats finished around here. So Ty has been working on these things for, uh, put a couple days of sanding in on them. Yeah, and, uh, yeah about seven flappy wheels. <laughs> burn out a grinder or two yeah now they're freaking looking dialed in so as you guys remember there's welds we welded the whole freaking things together and ty came in and finished off the grinding this is basically one of the big steps is smoothing out the boat so it all looks like a finished just big giant one piece of aluminum obviously it's not and uh, they're looking good man did yeah. a great job so. yeah i mean the big thing with these is like you could be the best welder in the world. Yeah. And when you got a hundred welds piled all over something like this, no matter how good they look, the boat just doesn't look finished. It, it looks yeah. rough. You know? It, so it totally did. Up, changes a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're looking great. So eventually there'll be a vinyl wrap on these things. And you know, mine's definitely gonna be a lot cooler than James at that point. But we'll wait till we get to that step. You know, we're each gonna pick out a custom wrap and I'm telling you, I got some big plans for Pike, the jet boat. So the only welds that we have to finish up are these ones well these actually be kind of hidden those get they get like a cap covered over them yeah so, and i didn't want to take any more material out of it than we need especially <laughs> with something like that's going to be you know hitting, hitting rocks the bottom of james's boat and flying through the air exactly so exactly meat there. yep so we have to leave some meat there and then we also have to flip these suckers over and put this coating on the bottom of them that we bought this is a protective layer of like a almost like a polyurethane that goes on the bottom and it's a half inch thick this is what will be our saving grace when we're hitting rocks and stuff when we're in the whitewater rapids of alaska when we go to hunt for something i don't know what it's going to be in alaska. but today we have some time because the because toast is just waiting on a cane member and some other parts so what we're going to do is tear into these jet skis that we bought i bought these off a lady who basically had them for I don't know, six months, bought them brand new, 2020s, had them for six months, sold them for like, came out to like 70% of what their value was and they barely have any hours on them. They're literally brand new. I mean, like there is not a scratch on these things. So I went and bought the trailers, the jet skis, everything off this lady in cash and got a smoking deal on these. So originally I wanted to get some like 2016s, but I got these 2020 RXTX 300 horsepower jet skis for the exact same price as I found two 2016s for. So not only do we have stereo equipment, we have the brand new dash equipment that comes in these. They'll be all fly by wires. And then they have brand new Rotax 300 horsepower supercharged engines in them. So we'll be using everything out of these. The engine, 
all the way down to the entire jet drive. We'll be using the reverse bucket, the brake bucket, because these have what's called IBR, intelligent brake and reverse. So if James or I are ripping down the river, you would pull this trigger and that actually hits a brake. So the bucket drops in the water and shoots this cannon straight up in the sky. And then if you hold this and hit the throttle, basically goes in reverse. Really a smart system here. You can see you got the intercoolers, everything like that. You got the exhaust on this side. There are some parts that we had to get to make these engines compatible with our jet stream holes. So we're gonna go all into that today because we had to get parts from a place called Torchcraft Marine and they sent us some really cool parts and then we're gonna hopefully pull the engines out of these. We have the intakes in the boats too, Ty did that. So basically we just got to uh, pull the engines out of these. We have the drive shaft alignment tool. A lot of crazy stuff, dude. Now that I'm saying it all, it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> so you basically put the drive shaft alignment tool in, then we're gonna hang the engines into the boat. And then at that point, once the engine is hung over the boat, uh, we measure for the motor mounts and build the motor mounts. It's, uh, it's a lot of work, but as you can see, James is already tearing into this one, getting the wiring out. We're gonna pop the intake manifolds off because that's all it says you have to do on the forum. Then we'll throw the cherry picker see over. how those forms go. Oh yeah, just pull this off, it'll come right out. It's gonna be tight. Six hours later, half motor disassembled. <laughs> it's gonna be kind of tight, dude. So this, this sucker has to come off right here. And then someone said you might have to pull the starter, but if you have two guys and you can kind of wiggle it around, you can hopefully get them out. I did already sell the holes too. I got two grand to pop for the holes because they're literally brand new 2020 holes and all these Floridians down here crash them into rocks and stuff right when they buy them. So, so we got to keep those intact, get the engines, jet drives off, and we're good to go. And here's a shot too, man. Freaking old Miami Vice came out pretty dang good. James is dialed in. Everything's looking nice and smooth. Look at that, dude. Super sick. So both of them ready for some engines. Is she loose? Yeah, she's ready to come off there. Right. So it, it was pretty cool because like this dipstick is it's like oh, a yeah. K-Series Honda where like it's like in the stuff. You Frank, know? Dude. So you just like uh, Be careful saying off. all that. The Booster Boys are going to build one of these immediately. Oh, yeah. I, talk, like, I talked to Kyle. He's like... If I get me a jet boat, I'm getting it uh, uh, welded. I ain't doing that again. Oh, yeah. Like my poor eyeballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, pop that thing out. Ooh, look at that throttle body, dude. Port that a little bit while we're out. I'm going to mark this with a J and go give it to George. <laughs> Who knows? Port this guy up. Dude, look at how much room that does open up, though. Oh, look at the injectors and stuff. Yeah, they got like little smiles cool. on them to get the fuel further down in the room. You know, this is basically an X3 engine, right? Like our KMs. Oh, well, I know where to get some spare parts. Yeah, similar. I don't think it's exactly the same. Okay, so now, guys, what we're going to be doing is taking that motor mount loose, taking the motor mount back here loose. We got to pick the engine up with the cherry picker, and this is all knowledge from the phones and videos that I've watched, so this could be wrong. And we're going to get the cherry picker, and we're going to pick the engine up and hopefully go far enough forward that the drive shaft falls out of the crank because there's this thing that goes over the drive shaft called the carbon seal. And apparently if you damage that, it's gonna leak in the future when we put the jet boat back together. So we have to be very careful while working with the drive shaft. But once the engine's out, uh, that'll clear everything up. We'll pull the pump off the back and start, I guess, getting ready to put it in the boat. So This is one of those things like, first time doing it so you just like end up taking off more stuff than you need to but we're just gonna unbolt till the motor's out yeah i mean we have brand new engines you can literally smell how new these things are they're brand new so we're trying to be really careful it's yeah one of those things. if if it looks like it might be in the way we're taking it out just to give us that extra room to, yeah we want to save the holes too that's four thousand dollars yeah that's a good good bit of money back that we spent to yeah. get to this it's funny because everyone when we tell them we're like yeah we got 2020 rx tx's they're like damn these are gonna be rippers well you know we gotta do it right it's the first if we're gonna do these all the way from top to bottom let's do it right well, you end up buying a, you know a five or six year old jet ski that's got like a, a weak hole that's like low yeah depression you put it in a boat that's heavier than the jet ski go to and alaska then you go somewhere and drive it the way we drive stuff <laughs> good chance it ain't gonna last yeah so like this they'll last should last what do you got there dude is oh, that the this, charge pipe this is no this is the intake too yeah, oh to the blower yeah look at this little centrifugal supercharger guys this was the intake tube from blower this little guy that's this, a cute little ripper there this is the easy one this one blower to uh intercooler okay i think we should tune them at least all right get some tuners so they go like 70. definitely but the 
the UHMW stuff slows them down a little bit. I heard it kind of sucks, but well, a little bit more drag in the water will keep it from doing the porpoise thing, you know. I'm just telling you, there's not going to be many other 12 foot boats doing 60 plus, so yeah. we'll be good. <laughs> Old Pike gonna do the best they can to keep up. Well, with that window drag, dude, my advice might be a little faster, but I might get some nitrous for mine or something. See me full tuck. <laughs> I already got the kit installed on mine. Really? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so. I didn't film it and I'm regretting not filming it because we just flipped this boat over and we're all sweating a little bit. It's pretty intense, but uh, we got her over. So now we can put the UHMW on the bottom and Ty and I are gonna start working on that. James almost has this engine ready to come out. So loosen this one last bolt and we can start to try to wiggle it forward. Don't bother the thing there's a camera on it. <laughs> all right, how are we thinking about it? Okay, so you guys can see all these pre-drilled holes. Every single one of these, we're gonna be drilling through the hole and bolting this to the boat. So <laughs> we got a little bit of work ahead of us. Oh man, I'm gonna wear out that Milwaukee today. I know, dude. We're gonna have to uh, mark off around the intake and we gotta cut that out first thing. Once that's cut, we're dialed in and we'll uh, get to bolting. All right, this will give us a perfect outline around the intake. Put some holes there. We're gonna use this skill saw and just rip right through it. Portion of these projects have been a mess. There's no no clean parts on it. Make the finesse cut. Let's see it. Um, Let's see you fabricate some plastic. Oh man, this is kind of like woodwork though. I don't know. I can't cut a two by four straight to save my life. Really? Nope. Just only metal. <laughs> only metal. <laughs> <laughs> You're not using a circular saw. He's using the air saw? I'm gonna have to teach him how it's done Set around here, on. dude. Come on, dude. Oh man, that's scary looking. I don't know if I'll put my hand there. You don't think? I feel like that's fireworks. not that's not safe to do while you're using a saw. James throwing fireworks. Dude, look at that. Hold on. Ready? Uh, ooh. Dude. Alright, listen, you you do the metal around here, I'll do the plastic. Yeah, you can cut plastic all you want. See the comments were clearly wrong. You did not need me to throw the boat. Yeah, dude. It was just Alright, well Ty did do the measuring, I'll say he did do a Pretty nice job. It's pretty much perfect. I don't think we're gonna have to make any adjustments. Nice job, dude. Dan, it's kind of nice having someone who knows how to use a tape measure around here. <laughs> One that measure sticks. Oh yeah, that looks good. Sweet. This is awesome. Wow. This counter sink's freaking perfect. So drill, tap, countersink.
we're not getting any slide because of that. Yeah. Yeah, I can come around though and give us a little more. Get a little up close on there. See, see how you uh, break this yeah, thing? You can see down yonder. Dude, did you do this? Jeez. When did that get there? That had to have been there. It must have been welded in like that. <laughs> I'm just now noticing it because it's upside down. Look at this. Look at it from this angle. I don't want to talk about it, honestly. This like does a hard like whoop. Hey, listen. That's a bald eagle beak. Okay? That's a I don't like mouth right there. I don't want to talk about it. Look at how good this is laying down though. Well, we ended up having to give up on this engine because we couldn't get the motor mount off the front. We ended up messing up a bolt and we also couldn't get this clip out. So we're waiting on a tool. We're just a little inexperienced in the jet ski department. I'm going to be honest. Uh, over here, James is just getting this jet ski to this point. So when we are ready, we can get this thing torn right out. Uh, James, Ty and I just finished up the uh, freaking protective layer for this side. And man, it came out pretty good. We lined it up perfect. We just got to do the bolts on that side. Or, or, uh, I'm pretty impressed, actually. It's actually not that bad. You know, like I thought this was going to be a dreadful part of the project but it's just a little bit time consuming it's not hard just settle though yep looks good not bad open yeah, up the goods it. open up the goods let's do this you ready yep this here this is a torchcraft marine box yes sir okay so guys we got a bunch of boxes we're gonna open real quick before this ends off Ooh. pow 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 okay bubble wrap some of this stuff's gonna be hard to decipher oh wow oh this is a thing of some sort <laughs> Okay, so basically what we ordered here is, hold on, he sent me some pictures. We ordered a builder's kit from this place called Torchcraft. Okay, that's for the seats. So that's the electrical panel for the fuse box and solenoid and voltage regulator. Uh, you got another seat mount in there, I believe. That's for the auto bilge holder. So that holds the lines for the little auto bilge that comes in a jet ski. That there is a intercooler mount with legs. These are the legs. Oh, so that the mounts rubber, the factory intercooler. The deals, yeah. Dude, torque trap on point with the adapting parts. I has a tech deck ramp. Hold on. <laughs> okay, that's for the motor mounts. That's for sure for the motor mounts. Those are kind of like fabricated together once the engine is in and lined up. And then you got a seat mount. Uh, there should be All a easy. battery mount. And then that's pretty much it. This is a battery mount. I didn't... Another motor mount, yeah. So this is a ring that adapts the IBR. So you have the intelligent brake in reverse. Oh. So that's what that is. So we got two of these complete boxes, which are the builder's kit. And then we got some additional stuff. And if you order this box and don't have a boat, you can build you a sick tech deck skateboard. Yeah, exactly. So this stuff is two fuel tanks, but you can actually stick the factory, basically top of the fuel systems that's on these tanks, pops in, they have an entire adapter system so that you can run the you know the fuel hat and everything out of what we have oh that's the adapter ring right there so that would be the fuel pump adapter ring as they call it which just makes it nice because you know it saves you a lot of time you can reuse the equipment that comes in your jet ski and uh build your own tanks these are a little bit bigger tanks than what would be in those rxtx 300s because you know if we're gonna ride these things way up the river they're 300 horsepower they're gonna need a lot of fuel Especially when mine's tuned on E85 and so it's... Mine's tuned on the hot gas with nitrous, it's going to need some capacity. <laughs> James is going to have methanol. <laughs> Makes it be six miles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, in this box, we have some stuff from Jetstream Boats. They had to send in some parts that got lost in shipping. So here's like the finishing corner of the plastic that we worked on today. Billet cleats from Jetstream, dude. They are getting us dialed. Those are fresh. Oh my gosh, dude. Jetstream makes some sick stuff, man. Uh, this is a alignment tool for the drive shaft. We're just gonna show you that later. This here is a heat exchanger. And I'm pretty sure you have to pump water through them. And this is the filter for that water that's gonna be coming out of Keep it clean. wherever the river or wherever we may be. So that saves that from dying. This keeps the water that goes through our intercoolers cooled down. So in this one, this is the last package and this one's from Jetstream. This is the uh, the decks for the back of the boats. Yep. Remember how they got lost in shipping? Yep. So another thing that Jetstream came in clutch, didn't charge us or anything. Some of the stuff got lost in shipping. 
they sent it back to us right away. Once we get the jet boats kind of done and the jet pumps and everything mounted, we'll put the decks back on the back. You know, that's what you get out of the water on. You know, the dogs can stand on it, whatever. You put your cooler on it. It's diamond plate. I know it is diamond plate. Sick. All right, guys, that's a little jet boat update for you. We're just kind of working on them on days when we have time, like toast, we're waiting on parts. So we just, uh, went after it. We're waiting on Leroy's clutch, a couple other things on these cars. So figure we get some time in on the jet boats, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We will freaking see you later.